Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we've got something really excited to talk about. See, in the world of being a QuickBooks reviewer, there's the QuickBooks chap that I am, there's not very many times that I get the opportunity to showcase a brand new product. That's what I get to do today. You see, QuickBooks has just announced and released a brand new product in the UK called QuickBooks Advance. And that's going to give us an opportunity to really go and figure out what QuickBooks Advance is and is it right for you and your business. See, at the end of this video, we want to make sure that you walk away knowing if QuickBooks Advance is right for you and also how to get your hands on it. And I'll let you know on a little secret. We've got some exciting news about how to get your hands on QuickBooks Advance. Stay tuned till the end. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet and head of account here at Boffix. Now in today's video, we are talking about QuickBooks Advance and it's been a long time the making in my eyes. I've known about QuickBooks Advance from over in the US and I've seen all the fancy toys and gizmos and gadgets that they get to play around with and finally we get the chance to do so as well. So before we jump into it, let's have a look at QuickBooks Advance, see what features are available. Okay, as you can see in front of me now, you can see that we have QuickBooks Plus, which is the previously the highest version you could get on QuickBooks Online, and now QuickBooks Advanced. Notice it's still in beta, so there's still a few things we need to kind of think about. But let's go through some of the options. Now, first of all, share access multiple users. You had five users available on QuickBooks Plus. Now you have 25 users, and more importantly, custom users at that. Now a little known fact though, just so you are aware, if five users, 25 users isn't enough for you, then use the link below, because we've got an opportunity for you to go and buy from us, from our e-store, a QuickBooks license. And what we do a little bit differently is we unlock those users to unlimited. So if you are struggling for users, then use our discount codes below, go buy yourself a discounted version of QuickBooks Online, and unlock some nice, and unlimited users. Guess we're back to it. Right, the other features though are completely out of this world. Now we're gonna explore what custom users means in a minute, but we've also got the opportunity, just like it says, to customize permissions by user role. So that's really exciting. That means that you can absolutely pinpoint what each user can do. Feature's been long needed. There's an opportunity to back up and restore QuickBooks data. So if you are wanting to make sure your data is secure and the opportunity to restore, because that's really the only reason you'll ever need that, maybe want to restore back to a point where you know everything's correct and some mistakes have happened behind that time. And then there's opportunity to customize reporting fields. And this gives you a real opportunity to make sure your custom fields are exactly how you want them to be. We've got the opportunity to automate the workflows. Love that option. I'm going to show you that in a moment. We're going to see some brighter insights into what's going on. And then we're going to make sure you have the opportunity to stay organized. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Well, here in front of me is the QuickBooks Advance. Now, first pro tip, when you first go to QuickBooks Advance, and I don't know why this is the case, but when you go to QuickBooks Advance for the first time, you'll be presented on the left-hand side with this left-hand border. Now, this left-hand border is great and everything, I'm a little bit confused because it doesn't really give us all the new options easily found. Um, I suppose if I go in my work, papers, no, taxes, apps, it's not really giving us all of those options. For you to get the most out of QuickBooks Online Advance, really you do need to be making sure that you go to Company Cog, switch to Account and View, and then on the left hand side you're going to see all those lovely new features. So let's explore what features we have in front of us. Well, the features are hopefully standing out from you on that left-hand side. So first of all, under expenses, we have a whole new expense claim option just here. So you can see that in the expense claim option, you can have the option for getting your staff to actually use expense claims and then pay them off as you need to. What's really nice about the explain option feature is it uses your receipt capture. So you can go and get the receipt capture, you can review them, and then you can pay those expenses if needed. The next big one though is workflows. Now workflows is something we're gonna do a whole video on over on my channel, Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap. And on that video, we're gonna be looking exactly how this can work. But in the simplest possible way, the way to understand this is the fact that this is your way of being able to make QuickBooks automate itself for you. So you're gonna be given the opportunity to say, well, if something happens in QuickBooks, I want QuickBooks to do this. And if you think about it, how powerful that can be. 
Let's have a look at some of the templates and let's have a look at some of the ways in which QuickBooks is saying how this could be useful for us. So I jump into the templates area and you can see I can have things like invoice approval so that when I want to get my invoice approved by someone else maybe I can set that as automation. Bill approval. This one's been asked for for a lot. This is the opportunity for you to be able to make sure that when you put bills in there, before you go and make payments, then you have the opportunity to go and get that payment approved before it goes out the door. Meaning that you're kind of taking away some of the complexities and some of the areas where it gets really difficult in terms of running a business. Well, this way you can automate the whole process, giving you peace of mind, giving nice controls in place, and it's something that we're working quite closely with our clients with to implement this feature, because I think this is an absolute game changer. You've got the option to send recurring statements. So you, if you've got an, a person who normally has to send out those statements on a regular basis, well, this can automate it for you, freeing up their time to do even more work for you. And then on the left hand side, you can see the next area that's going to be looking at. So funnily enough, they put budgets on the left hand panel. Not sure why that was always there, but that is a feature that's already in QuickBooks Online. And as I go back up here, there's the option now for tasks. And here, as you can see, I've got an overdue new task. I can mark it as complete or I can go and edit it or new would give me the same options. I can put the task in. I can say who it's assigned to, due date, notes and even upload and select documents. So you have a whole task area now that you can start doing within QuickBooks Online Advance. It's gonna make things really useful for you. Let's look at the settings then. Let's look at the, some of the new ones. So first of all, if I go to manage users, not only can I now add a user as normal, but I can also decide what their roles are gonna be. And under roles, I can go through and I've got all these preset roles that look wicked, but if I add a new role, you can see exactly what I can go into. So they can decide if, can the role see the sales or not? Is there an opportunity for it to full access view, create, edit, or delete? And that, that feature is coming soon. There's an opportunity for expenses, banking, and also stock management and account management. And you can go through all these and edit them all as you need to. Then when you create a brand new user, you now have the opportunity not only to do your standard company reports, time tracking, and give them the opportunity to have some employee access to expenses, but you also get to choose a custom role. Next new feature I wanna show you now is all about custom fields. So under the list section, custom fields, we've had it moved here for a while now, but now we've got so much more options from here. So a good example of a custom field before we had this new functionality was you might want your car registration. And in that one, really, from a data type point of view, you just probably wanna make sure that it's text and number. But notice now you've got all these options to make sure that you can validate the data before it goes in. So from here, you can say if it's on a customer and you can say if it's on sales receipt or an invoice and then print on form means is it for external use. But now also in custom fields, you can have access to far more places on expense, on bill, on checks, on supply credits. You can have all these options here to bring those custom fields in. I can press save and that brings it in for me. And then I can also go and I can add another field. And this time around, it might be type of work. And this time around, it might be a drop down list and it might be MOT. And as you can see, you can have up to a hundred different drop down lists. Then you can say what category, this one I'm gonna say customer. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's on an invoice. And I'm gonna say print on form as well. But then we can have custom fields in other places that we never had before. So we can have it now on a transaction and maybe we want it to be staff member. Maybe you're trying to track your staff members and who's working on what. Well, now you get the drop down list. You can have Bob and Jane. And this time around, let's say it's on an expense, save. Right, so we've had all these transactions in. Let's see how they look when we go to do one. So let's do a brand new invoice. You'll notice now my car registration, I can write whatever I need to write into. But my type of work, well, that's all decided by a drop down list, meaning that I'm validating that data. So if I need to do a report on it, I don't have to worry about people misspelling or misallocating. They're choosing between MOT or car repair or however many I have in that drop down list. When I go to my expense, you have the opportunity to see what is my staff member that was working on it. Bob or Jane, and then I can maybe look at doing expense reports or whatever it is I'm looking to do to be able to allocate them accordingly. 
Now this is really exciting. So within the report section now, we have create new report. And we have the option to go in there and start creating by a wizard. We can turn it into a pivot table. We can group items together, filter, customize, and, and really have the most powerful report possible. And this is gonna be super cool. I'm so excited to get my hands and look at this one. This is the sort of customization that really gives you the chance to deep dive into what you can do. And then final new feature, and this one's been long requested, is under company cog, I can go to the tool section and under tool section, so you can see here you've got reclassified transactions, which as an accountant is a tool we've used for a long, long time, finally available for all people to use, which is amazing. But the bit that's really important is this whole opportunity here to back up your company. From here, I can jump into my backup my company. It's gonna take me to here. I'm going to sign in. And then from here, I can create a backup. I can restore the backup and copy the backup. And I can even take a local backup as well. So that means you've got all your backup options up to date. And there it is. As you can see, it's much more powerful. There's so, so many cool features there that if you head over to Aaron Patrick, the QuickBook Track, our other channel, then you'll be able to see some of those features in a lot more detail as we start to understand, get to grips with them and start to figure out exactly what they can do for us and our businesses. But overall, I've seen a lot of good here that's going to help a lot of businesses out there. Now, if you're a business that thinks that actually QuickBooks and Mance is just right for you, then I've got a really important announcement to make. You see, over at our e-store, and if you use the links below, you'll be able to get yourself there, then you're going to have the opportunity to go and get not only a discounted version of Advant, but also one of the first places in the whole entire UK to be able to get your hands on them. So jump over to the Boffix store, and you're going to be able to get yourself a nice little version of QuickBooks Advance before most other people and crucially you're going to get the opportunity to have it at a nice discounted price as well. So you get all of those wonderful features and less than you think. I'm really excited for this. Really excited to get involved in some of those bits that we've just looked at in a lot more detail to understand exactly the power that can be achieved from it. This is a sort of update that QuickBooks has really, really needed. It elevates them to be on the likes of things like Sage and all those sort of mid-tier businesses and gives the opportunity to be able to go head to head with them. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get involved with this. And I'm really looking forward to trying to have a little play myself and seeing exactly how it works. Now, if you want to be keeping up to date on this, then don't forget to subscribe and like to this particular channel, but also head over to Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat for more in-depth information into exactly what's happening around the world of QuickBooks Online. I'm so excited to get to play with this one. I'm hoping you guys will join me too. My name's Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you, and I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.